So jambo guys these are guys ziki kama kawaida mnajua ziki anakoga kwa show. So leo tuko na mrembo hapa ajita Ivan, Ivano, Ivano TV. So I'm to invite we'll be talking about life za Doha, life ya Dubai na life ya Kenya actually mimi niko Kenya sasa hizi. Maybe wasi wa mimi kwa street za Doha. But mimi niko Kenya. Alafu tutatuambia story za pale huko Ivano, Ivano uko wapi? Okay guys, uh, um a Kenyan currently in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, karibuni sana kwenye show. So, thank you. Thank you for inviting uh, by the way. <laughs> okay, you are highly welcomed. Uh, so Zeki na kuuliza swali la kwanza. Ulianza hmm. na Dubai au ulianza na Qatar? Actually, uh, mimi nilikuwa invited Doha, Qatar. Nilipata job Doha, Qatar through agency. So agency yenyewe iko tao hapa plan inajita plan manpower. So tulikuwa na tulikuwa shortlisted watu wengi. So nikamkia job ilikuwa 2017. Nilimkia job kama data entry. Na hiyo time agency ilikuwa nalipwa 80k. Na sasa hizi jua nalipisha donga api. So nilienda doa 2017 but I left doa early this year 2023. Yeah. Okay so umesema you were invited na at the same time umesema ulilipa commission. Uliinvitiwa na your family member ama ni your friend ama what do you mean? Actually maybe I use the wrong word invited. Ojo watu wengi wakenda job doa Dubai Qatar all na kwa invitation. It means your employer ana ku invite through giving you a visa. So ana ku invite like ana kupatia kazi. <laughs> That is the word I meant. See, I could invite you like a visit or something. Okay, so ulitoka Kenya, ukitoka Kenya mm. kwanza ulitafuta kazi kwa agency, ukapata kazi, ukalipa commission, ukapata visa, ukaenda Doha, Qatar. Okay, actually maybe naweza sema tu briefly the process. So kulikuwa na advertisement kwa agency za tao hapa nilikuwa nimeenda agency mbili tatu but nikaangukia kwa plan manpower walikuwa na opening kwa kampuni ya Tanzania Gallery Tanzania Gallery iko Doha iko Dubai iko Bahrain na iko Oman ni kampuni bigi so ni kazi ya super so kulikuwa na hizo opening tukaenda tukafanya interview tulilipa 3k kwa agency first hiyo ni like a registration fee hiyo 3k tulilipa and then tuka invited for the interview ilikuwa na Wednesday tukafanya interview mwenye kampuni alikuja the MD akatufanyisha interview so the process was very easy ilikuwa tu tunalipa 3k unakuwa unakuwa invited for the interview and then from that interview mnakuwa shortlisted wale mwenye mmepita interview because walikuwa naita kila mtu agency haifungiagi watu ainaga qualification so ukienda pale kama kuna any opening wanawachukua nyi wote mnalipa ile 3k ukipita lucky for you ukianguka 3k ya irudi So tulifanya interview wa more than 2300. But watu wenye tulipita interview na wenye tulienda Doha tulikuwa watu 21. But hiyo time pia walikuwa wanataka watu Dubai. So a number of guys wenye walienda Dubai sikumbuki, but walienda Dubai a number of guys. So si wenye tulienda Dubai, Qatar I meant. Qatar tulikuwa na watu wanakuwa nafanya kazi ya cleaner, kulikuwa na helpers, kulikuwa na security, kulikuwa na drivers. Mimi nilienda kama data entry kulikuwa na job mob yani variety of jobs zenye zilikuwa available si cleaner peke yake at vile watu wanadhani at Doha watu wanaenda tu na cleaner na security ama bouncer there so many openings zenye watu huo uko pa apply because kila mtu hapa Kenya anasema ga mimi nataka tu as simple as security as simple as cleaner simple as house help but kuna jobs zingine apart from cleaner na house help kuna hata professional jobs kuna nurses kuna doctors kuna engineers kuna drivers kuna like any kind of job watu wanafikiria ziko Doha hata ziko Dubai pia i don't know about Saudi but hizo areas zote ziko na hizo jobs ni vile tu open, open openings na kwa kidogo a number of guys wenye wanaenda wanataka tuna security na cleaner yeah okay so umesema ulienda kama data entry yeah na sasa hebu tuelezee data entry ni gani uh, actually data entry ina ina depend na pale unafanya data entry ni kama 
like in a slide, let me explain about that it is about entering data into the system system in navigated in the computer you only need to enter some data from manual or uh, hard copy documents example like invoices invoice you receive it you enter the inform the information from the invoice to the system supplier Okay, neza kuwa na data entry pia ya hospitali, unaenta data ya mgonjwa kwa system. Neza kuwa pia any kind of data, but need to deal with the computer and entering data to the computer from the invoices or any kind of document. So in this case, mi likuwa data entry wa supermarket, hiyo ina intento to back office. Back office ni mali wana receive vitu na wana make payment za documents za suppliers. So likuwa na receive invoices to na encode into the system and then at the end of the month wanalipa supplier alafu after maybe few months three months tunafanya inventory inventory ni kuhesabu vitu zinaziko super to get to know how much you have lost and how much profit you have made and how many stock you have or uh, which items you have na ziuzi so that kind of work ya yeah, supermarket iko hapo si cleaner tu na shelf stock or watu wa kuosha supermarket Yeah. Okay na hiyo hiyo antenzi yenye ulikuwa umetumia ina deal na kazi za su supermarket ama bado huwa wanasafirisha cleaner supermarket uh, kash... So hii agency yenye nilitumia ni agency actually very genuine acha ni rudi jina yake ni plan man pa imepeleka watu wengi sana imepeleka watu kampuni zinaita kama abuisa imepeleka watu Qatar Airways imepeleka watu hiyo Ansal Gallery imepeleka watu McDonald like KFC unaona hiyo ina iko na like wanapata all kind of tenders za kazi wanaweza pata za cleaner wanaweza pata za salesman wanaweza pata za security wanaweza pata i don't know about house help si yes, kia mtu ampelekwa na house help through plan man power but hata Saudi ni mwana currently like me advertise Saudi wako na watu wakufanya kazi petrol station like any kind of jobs wanapeana wanapata kuna time ampeleka watu Canada manases stockkeepers this kind of jobs wako na they deal only with cleaners like kama you are planning to travel kwenda Doha unaweza tumia agency na uambie the kind of job yenye una, una prefer kwenda nayo Okay na ukiwa huko kwa hiyo kazi uh, as in ulikuwa provided uwa catering for your transport food accommodation uh, maybe shopping wifi Okay tukiwa Kenya tuna before we left Kenya we are given a contract uh, in, in kona all the information So most most cases ukiangalia mali kama Qatar contract zinasema company ita provide their transport ita provide their accommodation some companies they are providing food also so wifi hiyo uh, itakuwa uongo <laughs> hakuna free wifi kwa accommodation but what wana lipia wifi wanaza mention kama free wifi but it's not free inaweza kuwa inakatwa kwa salary so tukiwa Kenya unadhani anga ukienda maju wifi ni free no it's a lie so free so the thing is company and provide their transport in mandatory i want a choice and then provide their accommodation ni sharing accommodation so sharing accommodation i mean room kama hii room moja inaekwa vitanda kama tatu so you are sharing double bed watu mtu juu mtu chini mtu juu mtu chini so in our room we used to live like uh, one, two, three. these are six guys in one room na hiyo room ilikuwa kama villa ama three bedroom So every bedroom iko na watu sita. Ukiaccumulate hawa watu wote ni 18. And then washrooms ilikuwa mbili. The other side one washroom, this side one washroom and then one kitchen. And then kulikuwa na sitting room, mali mtu anaweza enda akule lunch yake, apige kelele yake, apige mungi yake, joking. So hiyo mambo ya transport na accommodation na provide wana food. So food data kwa salary iko kama like food allowance iko kama unazajipikia sawa kama company doesn't allow some people to like cook inside the accommodation watakupatia food so yeah hakuna free wifi okay umesema hata ushaa kuwa dubai dubai ulikuwa umeenda ku as a tourist ama ulikuwa umeenda na watu wengi sana <laughs> eh ni kwetu tourist natoa pesa 
anyway dubai nilienda kikazi kazi nyenye nilikuwa nafanya niliingia job kama data entry hiyo ilikuwa 2017 so the good thing na hiyo company nilikuwa nafanya ni there's a, there's room to grow niliingia kama data entry nikakuja nikakuwa data entry in charge from then nikakuwa inventory auditor so kwa inventory auditor ilikuwa like a higher position kwa job ilikuwa na ni allow niende ku visit the other company the other branches in ziko kama Bahrain Oman na Dubai so mimi nilikuwa napata chance ya kwenda Dubai ku kikazi so first time nilienda like uh, two weeks the second time nikaenda one month so by the time nilitoka Dubai nilikuwa nisha decide ku resign so nilienda kikazi si kwenda kutembea but nilipata chance ya kutembea So ukienda Dubai ulikuwa umetoka Kenya. Hapana, mimi nilikuwa nimetoka Qatar direct to Dubai. Nilikuwa nimetumwa kikazi. So I had company ticket, company accommodation like everything. Mimi nilikuwa tu niende nifanye kazi, nirudi. Okay na how is uh, uki compare life ya Kenya na life ya Gulf una afadhali gani Obviously si utasema afadhali Dubai ama afadhali Gulf why because una expect salary kila mwezi But ukiangalia in terms of weather huko ni huko joto ni noma <laughs> Ukiangalia huko joto ni kali Alafu kiangalia freedom hakuna freedom hata ukiambiwa at Dubai Qatar kuna freedom that's a lie like freedom unajua ya Kenya ni nini you can drink and sing on the road ukiendaga ukipiga watu makofi that is the freedom wa Kenya tuna tunamaanisha si ndio eh alafu kuna freedom ya Kenya kama unafanya kazi unaweza mulale siku mbili tatu usiende kazi and you go with an excuse huko hakuna kulala that is uh, gulf especially gulf countries that are working nations uko watu waendagi kulala waendagi stare so you have to wake up early in the morning uende kazi after kazi then you can relax and then after kazi where to go especially mali kama qatar akunaga place ya kutembea qatar unatembea in 2 3 days umeimaliza so th- these are all working nations so ka- niki compare mali gulf na qatar gulf na kenya gulf countries ziko sawa ukienda kwa money but you have to invest back home or the home so home is the best Kenya ni kupoa sana ni vile tu ndondi hakuna that's the main challenge money everywhere money okay kwani Qatar na Dubai au tu umesay umelamika sana ati oh siji ya fadhali gulf unajua his home uh, inasemangwa aja is the best Auko umesave yeah. ama Sikwa ni mesave pesa unamaanisha hivyo Yeah auko ume invest auko ume save ah. Acha nikwambie Ivano Ivano mm. either ukwe na do ama una do home is the best ni place ujafukuzwa Okay and then tumeenda golf kutafuta do Na hakuna siku taniambia like kuna a certain amount imesetiwa like this is the right amount ya kusema mtu amejipanga wewe mimi sasa hii have 20 million i'm stable financially no hawezi sema hivyo why the more unapata dona the more uh, demand ya life inaenda juu like una change lifestyle kama example mimi nilikuwa kama naishi kwa one bedroom siku nilianza kupata salary i moved to a two bedroom salary ikakuwa kidogo nikapata maybe salary imeongezeka nika move to a main house mali niko na four bedroom shida zikaongezeka so kusema mambo na kusave kusave nayo lazima mtu asave na do haizi kwa enough kama saa hizi mimi niko Kenya na jaribu kufanya biashara yangu kidogo but ukiangalia mimi sina salary at the end of the month hakuna do inaingia so dai do inatoka hata kama ni milioni mbili tatu maybe one year itakuwa imesha juu inatoka kama utakuja kufanya kitu okay unaweza come invest let's say ulibai shamba wapi eh, meru kisi nairobi ulibai shamba hiyo shamba italala tu hapo ikongojea 
hakuna do inaingiza unless so umeenda umeinvest umejenga rentals zenye zitakuingizia do na which is it means kitu kama shambo kitu normal kuna rent unaweza jenga rentals it means you need a lot of money na salary ukiangalia za gulf zina range between 1000 to 1 to 2000 like a big percentage ya watu wanapata salary huko ni between 1000 to 2000 that is 60000 60000 utakuja kupata 7 million lini ama 3 million lini ndio kuja kujenga gorofa ama like kuna watu wamejenga sijakataa but uta sacrifice time how long ndio kuja kupata hilo so ku invest ni lazima but si usiamue kukaa kabisa gulf ukisema mimi sijatosheka na do utapata vitu zimechange utapata president ame ameuza Kenya <laughs> Okay, Ezekiel alafu nikuulize, mm, do you mm. think wa Kenya wenye wako wako kwa sababu umesema hata ukae Gulf aja, hata uko unalipwa pesa ngapi, pesa itoshangi? Do you think Aitoshi. kuna watu kwa sababu huku watu wanasomesha kuna watu unapata wanasomesha hata university. Kuna watu wako hapa Gulf unapata wao ndio baba, wao ndio mama, wao ndio breadwinner kwa familia yao bado. So mm-hmm. unapata wako na changamoto za ku Do you think wa Kenya wako na challenges za ku wakiwa hapa Gulf? Eh yeah, challenges ni mob, mob sana. Mimi niliface kidogo tu but ni kujitambua. The thing ni kujitambua je mali umetoka. The good thing mimi na Jomali nimetoka. Sina watu melelewa life ngumu sana. Na hata tu wazinu wanapata tunakosa hata lunch usiseme saa hapa lunch unaenda shule unakuja lunch unapata madhako amenda hustle kuna ambao rudi vile umekaa so uki, uki get to understand ile life umelelewa na mali umetoka uta utaweza ku the thing is kama umeenda doha ama na use doha sana juu nilikuwa huko kama umeenda gulf ukiwa na target let's say kama unasema in a year i want 12 50,000 ama 100,000 kwa account yangu then you set this goal na we follow uta make it but the challenges na kuja wapi wewe unataka kupiga luku sawa wewe unataka kwenda dunda kama let's say kama kwenda golf dunda bia moja bia moja ni 50 50, 50 real 50 real compared to Kenyan currency in more than 1,500 wewe unanunua bia 1500 na unataka ku save. Sasa hii unahitajika hiyo 1500 to save in a year utakuwa na more than 12000. Sasa let's say salary yako ni 1500. Umekunywa bia 5 times 50. Hiyo ni pesa ngapi? Ai mwendo mbai food. Mwendo mbai kiatu kama kiatu Air Force. Air Force ni 500 real. Actually ni 500 or 600 real. Unda ku buy Air Force, unda ku buy Air Max, unda ku ngara, unda ku travel up and down itakuwa big challenge ku So challenges ziko na mtu tu kujitambua na ku save. Hata warembo wako, it's not a lie, warembo wako, but it's very expensive your life. Tuko tu live, but what to do? <laughs> what to do yani? <laughs> yeah. It challenges ziko. Okay. Ah, uh, Ezekiel tu kimalizia utaambia wa Kenya we. By the way, before tu tumalizie wanaume wanalipangwa pesa ngapi wanaume wa security no. i know it depends with the company and with the agency lakini you can estimate sio accurate but estimate hakuna ku estimate ni reality yenye iko uh, gulf especially doha doha they, they, they vary actually they vary kama ya dubai qatar na na saudia unaona Qatar isha set standard ya salary. Hakuna salary ya mwanaume, hakuna salary ya dem. Salary for everyone. Kama unafanya kama unafanya job kama dem, kama chali, salary ni 1300. Wewe nyinyi wote ni makleaner. That is the minimum wage mtu anaweza pata. It means mimi ni cleaner, wewe ni cleaner. So tukilipu at the end of the month kila mtu anaenda kwa account anachukua 1300 it means 1000 ni basic salary 300 ni food allowance kwa kila mtu so advantage inakuja kama wewe si cleaner wewe si security like hata household kwa Qatar anapata 1300 minimum 
Aku nama yang pada bilo 1000. Atai kue jamah om Jay 1300. Gawe risha set. So security yang pada 1300 kuanza. Ia ni for 10 hours. And then nak work for 12 hours. And as I make up to 1500, 1500. Uki na it depends with the company. Yang you mefanya. Ama ina depend with the period you make your company. So that's when we pada mtu na pada salary 2000. Mungkin nak pada 1800, mungkin nak pada 1300, depending with the period and the position you are in the company. So, aku nak salary dem, nak cari. The profession tu ina matter. Okay, uh, Ezekiel, tu kau yang lele amam bana security. Like, let's talk about security. Una pada mungkin ana lipo 1500. 1500 iko included ama iko excluded food accommodation na transport na shopping na wifi ama inakuwa aje Now as I said before it depends with the company some companies will provide wifi some companies will provide food So some companies will provide food they will deduct 300 from your salary cuz una gave me set standard ya salary ni 1000 basic 300 ni food allowance before kukuwe na other allowances ama before ingie any kind of position you are in the company lazima upate 13 first so ukisema security anapata 15 it depend kama maybe ana provide you food na some companies skiza i very well some companies wanalipa kuosha nguo wanalipia washing machine kuosha nguo One dira, one real, and I can't sing in a mesa camille si me kitambo. So imagine you make a five real do wash and go, is a machilingi, and then you meze camille si me kitambo. What do you do? We don't have to do ten of the quaker. Now imagine because your security you have to be clean. Now what a wing you'll provide you a white shirt. Now on a fanya kwa malls, you have to be clean. So you have to wash your clothes now and then. So E1500 in a zenda kwa washing machine, in a zenda kwa Wi Fi inezenda kwa food so at the end of the month unaweza baki maybe kuna less than a thousand real or dirhams cause your expenses na usisahau home pia kuna expenses kama uko na wife uko na family you have to pay rent you have to pay school fees so at the end of the month saving in afika happy that is the challenges people are facing in gulf unapata mtu ametumia expense zake ametumia expense za watu wa nyumbani alafu anabaki maybe na 200 Reals, 200 compared to Kenyan money, 6,000. 6,000 to save me. Ngapi ukuja kurudi home, useme you are back, now you are a breadwinner, uko na do. So you are 1,500, hii hata ni domob sana kwa security. Hii ni company poa. Some companies wanapata 1,300. So 1,500 means nitu wamefanya 12 hours. Si 10 hours. Na 90% ya security wakatari wanafanya 12 hours. Dia pati yo 1500, dia pati 1800, dia pati 2000. Na wanyo na pata 2000, ina kuja added advantage kama mtu anafanya kwa like uh, anachunga bank, maybe anachunga office za gava, kuzo office za gava pia anasema msilipe watu salari fulani. Watu kipata wano fanya ina private sectors, wanalipo doki dogo. So guys, we are coming to the end of this show and maybe Very fast. according to the question Google. Sorry? Nasema show imesha very fast. <laughs> yeah, we will be back, we will be back. So guys, in case of any question, uh we will be back and we will try up to our level best to answer you. So Ezekiel tukimalizia ni nini unaweza penda kuambia wa Kenya wenye wako Gulf? Ah uh, wa Kenya wenye mko Gulf subscribers wa Ivano hata mimi natafuta subscribers. So guys, remember to subscribe to Jazeki. So mimi ndako napiga content za hapa mtaani. So as a, as she said, nini naweza ambia wa Kenya wenye Gulf? Mimi nimekuwa Gulf for more than hata kunuzi nimekuwa miaka ngapi wewe? So I've been in Gulf for six years. Nili kwa 2017 nikatoka 2023. So nilifanya job na Kenya ni learn ni usiwe yaribu job because you don't know about the future. Unaweza enda utusimdosi 
umerudi Kenya unadhania tule kidogo muunda au tarudi golf the following day vitu zi happen kuna wa Kenya anafikaga Kenya mtu anaenda pale ana floss na wase anagongwa dozi naenda so the only way ni kurudi ga, golf na upata litusi mdosi wake alimpiga mangumi so utarudi wapi very hard for you so kitu maana ni uchunge job mpaka your last day of the contract and then kama ni kusave make sure make sure you save as much as possible sherehe mpunguze sherehe piga sherehe ji appreciate sherehe muhimu go out enjoy with friends make new friends but remember kuna life after golf ukitoka golf utakuja Kenya utupate kwa ground utuulize kwanza mimi ukiniita ni kutoe airport ku receive lazima nikuje na maua ndio niacheka kitu so ground ni different na golf na golf sio mwisho so na uko sio home so mkirudi home make sure ume save na ume make at least investment sawa thank you guys bye